everyone, I'm Cliff, and I've finally finished all the passive abilities I want to add to the game. So it didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. The main hurdle was coming up with, uh, what do we have? Three, six, five, eleven different ideas essentially. So we'll go through them one by one. Uh, you have seen a few of them, maybe, by chance, but we'll still go over them all. So the first one, we've got double jump. Now I'm just using goat horns as like a placeholder. I am unsure if I want to make it so that all the passive abilities are stacked on one item you carry around, or if we do separate them. But anyway, so double jump is the first one, pretty simple. Allows you to double jump by placing a barrier block underneath the player for a split second. As long as you have the horn, doesn't matter if it's in your hand or not. If I drop it, I'll no longer be able to double jump. Take it back, and of course we can double jump again. So nice and easy, a nice early one to get to just help with exploration. Defensive dash. So this is one of the more interesting ones I want to come up with, since it does uh, add a huge generalized, like a very common RPG element to the game. So if I double tap sprint, you see the little particle effect, the like sweep attack, and then I also get a potion effect for a split second, and this will, so then this will act as essentially a dodge. So if you double tap sprint into an enemy, you'll have resistance long enough that you can essentially soak up one attack. But it's not exactly a dodge, it's more of like, oh, I've got it tagged here, a defensive dash. Twist of container. Now this is the most interesting one. So if you have it in your main hand and you drop a stack of 64 into the ground, it turns into a single item. So it says here, stone compressed. We swap this to our up hand, drop the stone block, turns it back into a stack of 64. So this is a way to compress every single block in the game, no matter what it is. It's a very broad, just generalized command chain, but it is a pretty neat one. So for instance, granite here, because it's in my offhand right now, it is in 64. If I put it back to my inventory or main hand, it compresses it to one. Same if I throw this out, go back to the horn, and then if we swap to our offhand, both are back to 64. So of course, you can use this to essentially increase your stack amount. So if I go ahead and drop all these onto the ground, before I pick them back up, we can swap back into compress mode, compress them all, pick them up. We've now got three compress blocks, swap back, and drop them out one by one to get our, our 64 stacks back. So a very neat and very useful one. So uh, the way they're set up in this chest also mirrors essentially the progression. So the first few bosses will drop the materials for these horns, or this passive ability, and so on. So these end ones are going to be the hardest ones to unlock. We also have World Siphon. This is another fairly simple one, just a passive effect that's quite nice. So I'll put some armor stands out. Essentially, I think it's about every 12 seconds, you'll gain experience by having this just in your inventory. We just sort equals nearest. I'll probably leave it without the nearest. Yeah, so you can see it's summoning. The idea being it's a passive thing. You'll notice a bit of extra experience here and now. Uh, the rate is it's roughly one level a minute. If you average it out once you get to level 20 or 30-ish, it's pretty decent. You can just passively collect experience by having World Siphon in your inventory. It doesn't have to be in your hotbar or your main hand. Next up, what do we have? We've got Vampiric Presence. So this is another neat one that probably pairs well with Defensive Dash. So if we summon a husk, uh, oh, all well that kind of works. Essentially, we have contact damage now. So as long as I'm in contact with the husk, he's taking damage and I am healing. Both amounts are very little, like a, like what you'd find in a normal game in terms of contact damage. So you can obviously, like you just saw, defeat an enemy by standing in them, but you're better off just using it as a utility. Uh, I might put a cooldown on it, so you can't just constantly do it. But it's not too bad, because obviously you don't want to be too near an enemy, because they'll attack you back. Uh, if we do swap it back into survival, we should be able to show off. So we've got two hearts down. Uh, he's dealing more damage than we can recoup. So every time you deal contact damage, it should heal half a heart. What's... Oh, I don't know what. If I summon a cow, something that doesn't do damage. Okay, so four and a half hearts, five hearts, five and a half, 
six, and so on. So if you couple that with defensive dash, you can dash into an enemy, heal a little, and obviously deal a little bit of damage to them. I might take it a bit and balance, uh, increase the damage, maybe increase the healing and put a cooldown on it. We'll have to see. Uh, you know, armor stands as well. I have to blacklist them all. So you can't obviously just camp out in an armor stand and heal. Okay, what's next? Uh, the keys. I will leave these three actually to the end since they are a little bit interesting and something I don't really want to mess around with right now. So what else? We've got Skywalk, Accelerator, and Compounding Force. So Skywalk is similar to Double Jump, except you can infinitely stack jumps as long as you can time it right. Ooh, how high can I get? No. Nah. So if you can get the timing down, you can obviously go as high as you want. Uh, Accelerator, it's another interesting one. We'll hop up over here so I can show it off properly. So Accelerator, as the name sort of implies, the more you sprint, the faster you go. So after a little bit, we should get a particle effect and we should pick up speed. So like that, and there's three tiers to it. So if we just continue on, we should get faster and faster. And then if you stop sprinting, you do lose all the buffs. So it's a very travel orientated one. Uh, you obviously, you could probably make use of the early levels or early variations of it. Pretty neat. And then shoot the spear. Yep. It's a nice simple one again. Well, I say simple. Uh, it's this command chain from one white block to the other. So did take a bit of thought. And then compounding force is very similar as well. So as long as you have it in your inventory, you will essentially stack damage. So eventually we should get some fire particles going on. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anywhere specific, just in your inventory. Yep, so we've got some fire particles, so we're actually doing a bit more damage. And just like Accelerator, it stacks up to three times. So for instance, if we summon four different husks for us to show off, we'll go back to first person. So for instance, at whatever level we're at now, one shot. In base, it takes three hits. Once we get one level of it, it should take two hits. And every time you attack, it does reset. So the idea being you're compounding your force by just patiently waiting and swinging. So you could be a bit defensive. So we got one stack. So it should be two hits to kill a husk instead of three like normal. So another neat one. Again, a, a bit longer in terms of uh, the command chain. <laughs> Figuring out how to obviously apply the attribute multipliers and then clear them in a reasonable time as well as detecting when you're attacking and when you're not attacking. Okay, as for the keys, so we've got three different keys. Key of fire, key of life, and key of void. So I wonder if you can, I'll show you one and then you can probably guess what the other ones do. So we'll go with fire. I want to be a little high up. Uh, up here should be fine. Okay, so if you put this in your offhand and you shift, you're charging up and bam. Instant teleportation to the nether. Of course, you're going to have to be cautious of where you are. I'm obviously on top of the bedrock because I was quite high in the overworld. And then we've also got life and void. So, good guess. Void's going to take you to the end. So, I've gone ahead and swapped in my hotbar. So, it has to be in your offhand. Here we are. And then if we swap back to life, we can disappear before. Because too much strife here. And back to the world. We are probably underground though. So again, you'd have to be worried. Uh, Again, you do have to be weary. Take a pickaxe with you. Obviously, I can TP out of here or go into spectator mode. I'll, t I'll come back to the hub. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the passive effects. So the majority of them just work from your inventory. The more effect-based ones are gated behind selecting their effects, if that makes sense. So uh, the keys have to be in your offhand, and then the compressor has, or twist container, has two different modes. In your offhand, it will restore whatever blocks you have, and then in your main hand, it will compress them, allowing you to essentially increase the stack by 64. What is 64 times 64? I can do it slowly. it would be, what, 3,600, the 260s, and you got to work out on the fours. A lot. A lot is the answer. So what do we have? 11. So there's 12 bosses. Uh, two bosses will obviously drop two halves of the same one. And then the rest will drop at least one item to 
craft. I think, thinking about it, I will give the player the option. So you'll be able to stack them all onto one item. Obviously, it will get a bit weird. Well, no, because these are activated by shift and this is activated just by having it. So it's not too big of a deal to, to stack them all on the same one, is it? No, because only these four are necessary to either select in your main hand or off hand. So yeah, I'll probably go with that. I'll probably give the player the ability to stack them all onto one item and just have 11 different passive effects you can carry around with you for inventory space. Uh, if anyone is interested, I can do separate command videos. It's obviously a lot to go over just in this one, so I thought I'd rather just show off the different abilities. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See ya.